I'm Anil Kumar and let me first thank my subscribers for posting excellent questions on my YouTube channel. Now this question is really interesting. It is when is x-axis tangent to the graph of a polynomial? Now that is how I have framed the question. The student really wants to understand that when he's trying to sketch a polynomial then how come that sometimes x-axis is a tangent, sometimes it is not, and sometimes x-axis is a tangent and the graph crosses. So there are so many combinations. So what I will do here is I will list the combinations which uh, many students are now talking about, right? So, so the first combination is that x-axis is not tangent at x intercept let me like like this right so we're talking about zeros but x axis is not tangent at x intercept this is one combination they're talking about then they're talking about x axis is tangent we went to the graph right tangent and the graph that means graph of the polynomial okay so x-axis that is tangent and the graph bounces back okay that means it does not cross the x-axis and the third condition is that x-axis is tangent and the graph graph of the polynomial right graph crosses okay so these are the three conditions which which the students want to know how do we know that at x intercept that is how a graph of the curve or polynomial will behave so let me write all this as behavior of the graph of a polynomial at x intercept okay so uh, it could be related with this right at x intercept okay so that could be another way of looking into the same thing right so behavior of the graph of a polynomial at x intercept so these are the questions which have come from many students so I just club them together so that we can answer them in this particular video so that is what we're talking about now both are related to just one thing that is on the roots of equation or the zeros of polynomial right so that is actually related to the zeros I mean of polynomial so that is the solution zeros of polynomial now how are they related with zeros of polynomial sometimes we say roots of polynomial so I'm using different terms since students at different places are using different terms okay but they're kind of similar now th there is one difference however okay when we talk about zeros we are talking about real roots okay now roots could be imaginary right roots could be imaginary okay So, so we're talking about real roots, which we are referring to zeros, okay? So this is what you see on the graph, the x-intercepts, right? So close relation with x-intercept is this, uh, but all roots may not re be represented as x-intercept since we have imaginary roots. Is that clear to you, right? So, so sometimes, I mean, 
we should distinguish between them but sometimes these terms overlap so so I'm being loose at this point in using these terms okay so we're talking about zeros x intercepts and roots fairly well understanding that zeros are actually the real roots all right and and the zeros are represented as x intercepts uh, when we graph the equation of any function right in this case we're talking about polynomials correct so that is what we are so let me add this topic here polynomials and behavior at zeros so the question which we are discussing could be related with all these concepts but they are exactly same now how does that make a huge difference that is because of one particular thing that zeros have order or multiplicity right this is because zeros have order or sometimes we treat this as multiplicity multiplicity right what does that mean that is to say that let us say a factor of a polynomial is uh, for example there is a term x minus 1 right this is a 0 at x equals to 1 right so this is 0 at x equals to 1 so we say order or multiplicity is 1 since the degree is 1 here 1 correct so let me give you an example this is first example now there could be another one which is saying x minus let's say x plus 3 let's take this okay that really means and let me square this so that means 0 at x equals to minus 3 but the order is 2 order is 2 okay let me take another example let's say x uh, minus let's say 4 okay and let me make this as q so this will be called as a 0 at x equals to 4 and the order or multiplicity is 3 do you get get my point right so and these are all are all x intercepts at x equals to this correct so these are x intercepts at x equals to these values is it okay so that is how they are very well connected now and let us say we have a polynomial which which has all this let's say their product is a polynomial p of x and if you have to sketch this polynomial how will you do it well i really ran out of space so what i will do here is that i'll kind of squeeze it in right so it makes sense so so i'm just making uh, x axis okay and uh, let's say this is my y axis okay so what we are saying here is that we have a couple of zeros one is at x equals to one okay so one is at x equals to one the other one is at x equals to minus three so this one is at one two minus three so this is minus three so we have a zero here we have a zero at one and then we have zero at x equals to four okay so one two three and four okay so let's say this four so here is another very approximate sketch to help you out understand the concepts right we'll concentrate just at these zeros and behavior of this polynomial uh, p of x and let's say this is my x-axis near these zeros okay now the first one here is kind of linear and let us assume that this is kind of positive and so we are looking for right side up uh, and since we are multiplying all of them 3 2 5 and 1 6 is even function so that would be kind of like this so we're trying to sketch polynomial p of x equal to uh, x minus 1 times x plus 3 whole square times x minus 4 whole cube this is what we are trying to sketch okay fine and uh, we have very limited space space to give you details but how i think the concept will be clear okay so x minus 3 x minus 3 has order of 2 
So when it has order of 2, okay, so we'll do it this. X minus C has order of 2. End behavior is kind of like this. 3, 2, 5, and 1, 6, that was even function. Right side up, both sides up. Okay. Order 2 means it will bounce back. Do you see that? So, so if, so we say X axis is tangent and the graph bounces back, kind of shown here like this. Do you see that? So, so this happens when the order is even. So, so this is for even order. Okay. It bounces back. Now at this point, X axis is the tangent, graph is not crossing, it is just bouncing back. Correct? Now let's look into the, the other one, uh, which is uh, 1. Now X equals to 1 is a linear 0, order 1. Now we are on this side of the graph, so it will just cross. Is it okay? Like a line. So X axis is not a tangent at X intercept, it just crosses like a line since it is linear, right? So we say order we say order is 1. Is it okay? Here the order is even. So we'll say order is 2n. Okay, so n is even. Okay, that's fine. Now the third one here is, is of order 3. It's like a cubic function. We are on this side of the graph, so it'll go like a cube. Do you see like this? As you can clearly see, x-axis is again a tangent. However, the graph crosses the x-axis. So the graph of the polynomial crosses the x-axis. So this one is kind of like this. And that happens when we have a 2n plus 1 order, right? Do you understand? 2n plus 1 where n could be a whole number, right? So I should say n belongs to natural numbers to be very safe because I don't want to include this one. He said, okay, so uh, so it's a it's a non uh, non-linear but odd degree odd order of zero do you get my point so we could combine all of these and sketch a neat graph so now uh, so okay let me use this color now to sketch a neat graph okay so the, this will mix okay so basically from this we have a graph which will go like this and here we can connect somewhere like this and then we could connect like this and then we could connect like this giving us a neat polynomial sketch and that is your y-intercept which you can find by placing x equals to 0 so if I write 0 here 3 squared is 9 and then I need a calculator well you know what this is uh, this is negative and negative as positive so you got 9 times 4 cubed so that is a big number which I don't know so it is 9 times 4 cubed. So, okay, so let me just write 64. Okay. So that number is my y-intercept, which I get by placing x equals to 0. Since I don't have a handy calculator, you could do this calculation. And this sketch clearly gives you the curve for the polynomial. And I hope this video explains you in very simple terms why x-axis is sometimes tangent to the graph, sometimes the graph crosses, sometimes the graph does not cross, and all those combinations. I'm Anil Kumar, and I hope it answers most of my viewers their question. But still, if you have some doubts, feel free to post your uh, questions and suggestions, and that is how we're making this YouTube channel as one of the best. You can always subscribe to my videos, and they're all free to share. Thank you and all the best.